actually a well concealer. What is a concealer? Oh my god. What kind of shade of concealer do you use? I don't use anything called a concealer. Wow, well, stay tuned to find out what a concealer is and what shade would suit you best. Concealer, you might ask. What is a concealer? What is a concealer? <laughs> concealer is also known as a color corrector. So, um, a color cor color corrector slash concealer is used to cover uh, certain blemishes or discoloration on the face. It's also used to um, cover any age spots, uh, large pores. It's also just there to to help. Um, blend in the imperfection with the rest of the skin tone. Uh, a concealer is very much like a foundation, but just a lot more thicker than a foundation. And then every concealer is unique to each person depending on exactly what flaws that you'd like to hide. Um, so yes, come and join us and let your dark circles or your blemishes or your flaws be a thing of the past. Absolutely. <laughs> So guys, remember I said a concealer is uh, also called a color corrector. So when it comes to concealer, you get different shades um, of concealer. So we are going to show you, we've got a few shades here that we want to show you guys um, when it comes to concealing and what the different colors actually conceal and what they do. Shanae, do you want to? All right. So I'm going to start with green and yellow. So green and yellow is mostly used for reds. Green, more so like your intense red, um, redness on the face, heavy redness on the face, and then you'll get your yellow that's for a little bit of mild redness on the face. And then there's also other colors. Chanel, would you like to go in? Okay, so then you get you get your peach. So you've got a you get your peach color, and then you get a red. So these are used to conceal any darkness um, or dark circles you may have under the eyes. The the darker the red, or the more red, it's, it's, you conceal more of your um, deep, dark circles underneath the eyes. And then your peach and your orange you'll use to conceal more of like a medium dark shade underneath the eye. And just get rid of the dullness and just brighten up the pink and the, the pink and the purple. Just brightens up a little bit. It up. brightens, yeah, it brightens, and it, it brightens any dullness yeah. that you do have. And then the yellow is used for? I said already. Oh, you did say. Oh, sorry. I did <laughs> Someone's not listening. <laughs> Someone's not listening. Okay, so those, it, it really gets a bit confusing when you see all these colors in the shop and you're like, what the hell? What, what do I do? use this for? What do I use that? Do you find that, Ashley? Do you even do? You even do, do you even know you had all these colors to no. use and what they do? Okay, so if you don't know, now you know. know. <laughs> so what are we going to do with her face? So her face, we can see that she's got some redness over here because and, of yeah. her blemishes and then a little bit of darkness. Just a little eye. bit of darkness because the girl has not been sleeping. She's sleeping late. She's sleeping late. Okay, yeah. so guys, make sure you get enough sleep. She's so been binge watching Netflix. Netflix, you know how it Netflix goes. Netflix and Charlie chill. Did. Yeah. Alright, so what are we going to go in with first? I would actually go for more of like a peach tone because her uh, dark her circles aren't that dark okay. okay so I would go for okay guys this is LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer these concealers are also actually rated like top now I enjoy them yeah and they're quite nice and thick as well and moisturizing yeah and they're really moisturizing so these are like our faves that we like to use and you do get them mm. in all the other colors like your greens and your reds and your yellows you do yeah so the shades you see over here no you... those are cryolins no I know these are cryolins but I mean LA Go also has these shades yeah. so this is more of like a thick the cryolin one is very thick very thick yeah um and then the LA Go one isn't that thick but you can kind of Depending on how you apply it or what application tool you use, you can get a different uh, so this is coverage. Okay, so what you want to do is, so this is how it looks, it's got like a cute little brush here at the end. And when you're applying concealer, you can actually use it straight from here. Or you can use your finger, we love using our fingers. So you, uh, make sure you sanitize your hands before you use your fingers. Did you sanitize? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is... Yeah, we like to use our fingers, especially under the eye, just to pat it. You never ever, like I said, I think in our first video or second video, want to actually rub under the eye because you are actually damaging the collagen networks under the eye. Whoa! Now, like Shanae said, um, underneath the eye, you can damage it very easily, hey? The skin. Not the skin, the collagen. Yeah, the sorry, collagen. the collagen. 
Okay, so don't do that, otherwise you are gonna get some more rancor. A bit of a tip here, what you guys wanna use is you wanna use this finger, your ring finger. Okay, so sorry guys, my nails are a bit ugly. <laughs> so what you wanna do what is... What happened to your nails? Oh, no, Chanel. Yes. Okay, so you wanna use your ring finger because when you use your ring finger, you'll actually feel when using your ring finger and dabbing on any conceal or foundation underneath the eye, it's very gentle. Like it has a very it's gentle touch. Face. Yeah, continue. And then what you want to do is you want to start applying from the center and move it outwards. So first you want to dab it on. Okay guys, so you can see it's like already right under our eye. Okay, so what you want to do is once you've got a concealer, Ashwin's eyes are really, like she doesn't really have a lot of dark circles, so you don't really have to cover much, but once you're done with the concealer, guys, you don't want to leave her looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> like a spook. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like a spook. So, <laughs> for those of you that's watching from other countries, that means ghosts. And then you are not gonna leave Ashley like this. So what you wanna do is Sorry, just take your makeup, is. take the Are makeup. You, take... <laughs> <laughs> you wanna take the makeup that's the same oh. shade as the skin, and you actually wanna also just go under the eye and see it will brighten up. Should we do that? Yes. Okay, even get the fire. <laughs> Be right back. Be right back. All right, guys. So now I'm just gonna up to look by adding a foundation remember before foundation you want to add a primer because that is the foundation um and that is not the foundation that is the foundation, <laughs> the foundation of the foundation. foundation okay so now i'm going to know the foundation list yes okay so i'm going to just apply some we're using crowlin under the eye you want to pat yeah also um another thing is with concealer um you a lot of the time so if you want to cover any discoloration underneath the eye I would suggest applying a concealer before you apply your foundation just so that it hides those dark circles um, you can also apply concealer after your foundation if you want to use it to brighten up underneath the eye so there's different yeah. ways you can use a concealer so we interchange between the two depending on um, what it is what look we're trying to pull off I also sometimes like to go on the island not supposed to because there is a primer but you can if you want to you can even use a concealer on the lid as well. That's what I'm doing. Use a concealer on the lid. You can use a concealer underneath your um, eyebrow, on your eyebrow bone, just to like define the brow. You can use a concealer to contour. You can use a concealer. There's so many ways or like, uh, yeah, different ways that you can use a concealer. Sometimes when I'm in a rush and I don't really want to do a full face of foundation, all I do is I just take a concealer that's my skin tone and I apply it underneath my eye and then the rest of whatever's left of the concealer on my fingers I just rub into the rest of my face Okay, so I'm just gonna do the half so you guys can actually see the difference between the two ah, You guys can see, okay Oh yes, one trick that I learned at Bobby Brown Right, so Whoa. you can see this eye looks bigger yeah. Okay, this eye looks bigger this eye looks smaller so once when you put a concealer on and your eye actually looks smaller after applying the concealer then you know the concealer is doing the job yeah that's okay. true and that's basically what you guys do when we filter our pictures on face screen we try and get rid of those darker circles and you'll see your eye actually goes a bit smaller and you look a bit younger because you're and you look up. awake and you look awake you look like you got like a nice amount of hours of sleep you got your beauty sleep mm -hmm. in Right, then once we're done with that, we're going to just brighten up under the eye as well. What I like to do also the cheekbone, because remember, if you're going to add a little bit of lightness here, and when the light hits, it's going to give her that um, illusion of her having really high cheekbones as well. Mm -hmm. Check. Okay, what are you going in with? What color? So I'm going to go in with yellow corrector. It says corrector, but you can also use it as a um, concealer just to brighten up underneath from pro no from la girl so what i'm gonna do is just take some and just go like this under the eye and then you can also do on the nose just to give you a little bit of a skin okay that's, that's what we mean by like the whole contouring thing so you can use your um concealer for so what i like to do is just go in with a sponge and look up for me there and you're gonna dab it So 
So I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see it looks brighter under that eye over there now. <laughs> it looks right. so weird that only half is done. Yeah, but you can already like see the difference. Mm, I actually wanted to take this away so you can actually see the difference with the dark circle compared mm. to the not dark dark circle. So that's it for concealer. What you can also do to add on top of that is actually add a highlighter just to give it a bit of a highlight. Oh, you forgot one more thing. What? Because we are using um, cream concealers, you want to set your concealer. Yes, okay, you don't want it to be running down your face at the end of the night and having those dark circles reappear. You don't want to be using a yellow powder when you're going to be going out at night and you're not shooting. You can use that when you're on camera. But it looks really tacky. I've seen it. Girls powder, they do the whole baking thing under the eye. They go out and you can actually still see the powder. Sometimes some of them don't, they, they actually forget to actually um, blend, brush, it in. blend it in or black, you know, brush it off. So it's actually better to use a translucent powder. Yeah, use a translucent powder that really works very, very well. Okay, so I'm going to take translucent powder, which is in yellow, just to set the cream makeup. You don't want to use a lot of powder either yeah, because if you're going to use a lot of powder, it's actually going to sit in the, um, the creases of the eye. And it can make you look old. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And just tear. There we go. I hope you guys can see. You. Then this is what, <laughs> this is what other ladies do. <laughs> Because in real life, baking, when you see someone, oh, you can see So this is like a baking pot. It's a lot of powder. Baking is perfect for people with the oily skin. Mm, oh, I love baking. So what I'm they'll do is, skin, yeah. they'll actually leave this on for a while, and then just before they go out, they'll take a brush. I'll be back. So as you can she's see, she's baked, at the, she's baked at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take it out. And, you know, Here we go. She all done. Voila! Okay, so while we were on a little break, I just completed under the eyes. So you can see she's got flawless under eyes at the moment. Mm -hmm. She be sleeping. She be sleeping. Water. <laughs> yes, also guys, if you have dark circles, yeah. it could also be that you are dehydrated. So drink a lot of water. Like that's gonna that's gonna help in the long term. This is a quick fix for under eye circles. Mm -hmm. Alright. So if you guys like this video and it was really helpful, please give it a thumbs up in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and then stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna be doing a video all about contouring also don't forget to share this video with someone you think would find it really useful thank you ashton for being our model no problem thank you guys so much the guinea pig so yeah she's always the guinea pig so. one of these holidays so you're gonna see a lot of her face and yo and we're gonna have a few guests on our, our channel, uh, channel. so yeah i hope you guys keep on watching we are gonna be as consistent as possible during this holiday although it's gonna be difficult because we're gonna want to spend a lot of time with the family but anywho we also stay watching make See sure you on the next video bye